we haven't been able to talk to you yeah. since the Cotton Bowl and everything yeah. with Elaine. After that game, what's the process for you, just knowing some things need to change at the defense? Where do you start going forward from that? Yeah, you, you start with individual calls. And so basically you rehash the entire you know, the season. And then you kind of start with explosive plays. I mean, you, you kind of rip the band-aids off real quick. And so you start with the, the, the negative, you know, and that's the appropriate thing to do. And you first look at it through the lens from a coaching staff standpoint. Okay, what can we do to you know, affect the behavior of our guys? Can we put them in a better situation to be successful? And it takes a lot of discipline and it takes a lot of uh, uh, maturity in that as a coaching staff to go through it because you're rehashing the most frustrating plays of, of the season and, and, and it's fresh. You know, we're in here the, the, the day after the game. But, um, and so you look at it through that lens and then you say, okay, what, what, what can we do? And what you have to do in those moments, you have to have an honest evaluation. You've got to make sure that you look at it um, from the standpoint of it is if, if it's as simple as all right, there's a guy that should be in the position to make a play, he's not there. Well, that 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 it sounds simple enough, but why? And then part of the evaluation that makes it really difficult if you say X, Y, and Z should happen, it didn't. Is there something we can go back from a preparation standpoint that we lend ourselves to believe that uh, uh, maybe just maybe it, it, it goes back to just that, really prepare in a, in a better way. Other situations, the guys at the point of attack is in a position to make a play. How can we help them make the play next time? Um, but what you don't do is you just don't, don't throw your hands up and, 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 and pal and play victim. And, and, um, and then, then you attack from the mindset of, okay, let's, let's, let's look at the, through the lines of situational calls. And so you kind of break it down that way and look at, okay, red zone defense. You look at it through third down. You look at it through, through you know, P and 10, first and 10. And so it, it's a comprehensive study. And you've you got to look at it once again. And, you, and ultimately, those plays you know, show up quite a bit, right? Um, so you watch it over and over again, and then, then you look at it. Okay, what, what can we do from a physical standpoint? You know, so so often, you, you got what's the most tangible thing you can do in January. I mean, you come off, you're disappointed. You know, we went through what a lot of basketball teams are going through right now. They, they didn't get out the first weekend. That happens, and, and it, 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 it does it dismiss. You know, the, those kids won 11 games, and they deserve credit for that. So you don't dismiss that. But what's the most tangible thing that we can do? In the moment, it's bigger, faster, stronger. And so you attack in that mindset. So it's all encompassing, and then it's it's ongoing. And then what you do is then you take it on the practice field and say, okay, well, well, these are the things, some adjustments, but maybe we want to make. Is there a coaching point? It may not be big picture scheme, but it may just be simply, you know, are, are we, you know, asking an individual guy to, to do the appropriate thing within that scheme? And then you look at it through the lens. Is there what we call testimony or the drills that we're doing? You know, does it show up on on? on film and if it doesn't we need to change the drill change the coaching point and then at some point possibly change the person but uh, that, that's 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 final steps what we want to do is change the player right and as opposed to looking through the lens of just simply changing the person fire guys and let's, let's move on next guy next guy next guy now let's just let's change the player just get them bigger faster stronger and put them in the best situation to be possible let's, let's coach them up let's put the reps on it and that's what spring is so um, uh, you, you flip the page and, and you move forward and as as a competitor you don't ever get over it you know, but as a professional, you got to move on. What do you think led to that disconnect between maybe what you guys tried to teach and what was going on on the field and during games? I think it's ongoing. I don't think anything specific to us is, is unique. It's, it's a lack of consistency. And where does that consistency come from? You've got to go back to preparation. I think other, other instances, it's, you know, you've you know, you got to make sure that uh, you have the strength to, to execute at the appropriate level. You've got to be able to get off blocks. The unblocked guy has to make tackles. You know, and, and then we got to look at it through the lens of how do we have two unblocked guys there in a certain situation. Then you got to look at it through the lens of are we asking the guys to, to do the appropriate things? Are, are we, you know, uh, are there calls you want to have back? Absolutely, and that always happens. Um, and, and, and you can't dumb it down to that either. You know, it's, I think we've talked about this, the baseball example. You throw a curveball and they hit it out of the park, you can't just say, well, we should have thrown a fastball. That's not how the sport works. And so it's the same thing for us, man, zone, three down, four down. You know, rushing five, rushing four. Should we drop eight more? Should we you know, play with two high more? Should we ask certain guys to do other roles? And, and um, so, um, no, it, it's uh, it's it's a difficult process, not one that you want to go through. But it's not unique. It happens every single year. And if you win 11 games, you're awfully excited about the 11 that you win, and you're you're devastated by the ones you lose. And then that doesn't matter if you win them all. So, uh, which is obviously the end goal. So, um, the work continues. How much do the uh, returning guys look like returners yeah. in your system? And are there anybody? Is there anybody standing out in that kind of? No, oh, it's exciting. And, and and what you can't do when we're talking about this is you you, you can't. And we we challenge the guys this way. You can't just simply say, "Well, it's year two, so all things are are, are, are going to be better." Just the natural progression of we're older, we're bigger, whatever, you know. And then so we describe it to the guys that can't be year one 2.0 where we're saying the exact same thing every single day. So practice one of spring football is just regurgitation. And practice one of last spring football. You know, we're starting over from square one. Now, there's so much things that you roll it, you know, dial it back, and then you make sure that you're, you're starting from square one. But, the, you know, they've got to have a responsibility on their part to act like they played, 
you know, 14 games last year. There's, there's guys that were an eight-game starter, nine-game starter, whatever it is. They, they got to bring those experiences with them, um, and, and they, they should beat the coaches to some of the coaching points. And an older guy that's been around says, well, these are expectations how we practice. There's also guys that didn't have success that look at it through the lens of, okay, well, maybe just maybe if I do some of these things that we're talking about, my success rate can go up because I tried it a different way and it didn't work. So all those things, they, 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 you know, guys just come with a, a knowledge base that way. You know, you're, you're not, you know, installing everything, every technique, every drill, you know, expectations, you know, all those things. So, uh, no, believe me, everybody loves year two to, compared to year one, but that's not the magic elixir either. It's, it's, there's no magic bullets to this thing. So we have a responsibility to just, you know, stack days and then work harder. But there's a, there's a bigger unit. There's a stronger unit. Um, and I think it's a very confident unit. You know, um, and, and it, 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 it's something that uh, is ongoing because you got to go do it on the field. I mean, you can do that in the offseason, but you got to do it uh, through spring football and all those things. It's been good. How soon after the game did you go back and watch it, and how long did it really stick with you and just kind of yeah. leave it with you? No, that, that's something you do the next day. I mean, you watch it on the play right home and all that stuff. But that, that's that's normal. That, that's part of it. Um, how you, what, does it stick with you? Again, from your profession, you got to move on. You, you, you just do. You, you, you don't make excuses. Um, you, you don't. Uh, um, you know, allow yourself to, to fall into, like we talked about, ain't no victims here. You know, we, we signed up for high expectations, and when, and when you win, we celebrate, and when we don't, we, we, uh, we circle the wagons, and, and, and we come back, and uh, we work harder for it. Year two was coming, whatever year one was going to be, and, and uh, obviously our expectations for year one uh, were, were high, you know, and, and we reached some of those. Uh, the player of the year in the conference, one of the top teams in the country in takeaways, those kids won 11 ball games, and they deserve, you can't, you can't just, you know, um, you know, that discredit the, the things that they didn't do well. You got to give them credit for the things that didn't. And from a coaching staff standpoint, what you do is you you expect the bullets to be aimed at you, and you take those bullets it's aimed in the right place and take ownership for it. And then, and that's what we've done. How much, how much do you study the jump that your defense took in its second year at Oklahoma as you try to figure out the next steps this year? Yeah, I, I think it's, it's different players. I mean, it's different. Uh, um, you know, challenges in terms of a weekend, different opponents and all that stuff. So you, you, you don't want to be too naive to that. Just, again, say that the, the magic, magic bulls is a calendar win from year one to year two. Um, but you, know, you also draw confidence in them. That, 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 you know, guys have an understanding of where they need to be, what they need to do, and the expectations. You know, just through four days. Are we, are we coaching effort like we, like we had to do in January? And I know or, or, or December. Well, that fortunately, we, we didn't know when we got to go back and why we had to coach, still coach effort in December. Um, but that's that's just part of, of the process. And then, um, as we say, you can't microwave it. You, you, you got to go through it. And, and we also have to make sure as you go through it, is that at USC we're not afraid of the struggle. We're not afraid of the hard parts, the hard, the hard stuff. You know, we weren't talking last year about how easy year one was going to be. I don't remember that question coming up. It was going to be hard. Um, and, and and again, we, we, that, that continues. So year two, and my point being is the easy part's not coming. Right? It's just it's 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 a talented talented lead. We got talented opponents, but. Uh, um, but also, yeah, absolutely, you take confidence. There's any confidence being around the guys. You know, it is ultimately they got to go make plays and then do the right things. We got to put them in a position to do so. And we have a lot of confidence we can get that done. All right, thank you all. Thank you.